As built for AutoCAD. Feature Data Tutorial 2. Part 2 of 2. Inherited Attributes and Links. After this tutorial, you will be able to link equipment to rooms, ensure equipment has unique key values, move equipment from one room to another, check and update consistency of collected data. In this tutorial, we will work with inherited attributes and links. Start by selecting Tutorials Feature Data, Tutorials 2 from the As Built Feature Data tab. In the Structure view, double-click Definition and double-click Classes. Notice the classes with Based On next to their name. For example, Sanitation Based On Equipment. The class Sanitation inherits from the Equipment class. The Equipment class is not visible in the upper part of the structure. It only exists as base class and has therefore been hidden. However, it is displayed in the lower part under Definition. Inheritance means that attributes have been transferred from the base class to the derived class. All attributes and links that are defined for equipment are also available from the Sanitation class. Inheritance is used when classes have a lot in common or can be subsumed under one subordinate term. For example, Objects of the Radiator and Sanitation classes have an inventory number in common. Both belong to building equipment. Therefore, these two classes inherit from the Equipment class. The attribute number is defined for the equipment and by inheritance is passed on to Radiator and Sanitation. Let's create a new sanitation object in the structure. Select the Home tab and on the Layers area, switch on the Equipment layer. Return to the As Built Feature Data tab. Notice yellow labels for radiators and sanitary facilities will appear in some rooms. Some radiator symbols have a label attached to them. This shows they are already integrated in the structure. To show the location of a radiator, click Radiator. Right click any of the radiators and select Show. Room 2 contains a yellow sink block that needs to be labeled. To create a feature data object for this sink, right-click Sanitation and select Add Sanitation. With the Object Snap enabled, click the edge of the sink at which the label is to be inserted. Follow the command line prompt, select the yellow sink block and confirm with Enter. A Sanitation 1 object has been created in the structure. In the attributes, you can change the type from the standard setting of toilet to wash basin. Click OK. The number R08 attribute is automatically filled in. This attribute is of the type key and is a definite key value that cannot exist twice. It will automatically be raised for further entries. If one value has already been assigned, the next value will be used. At this point, inheritance comes into play. The attribute number is defined for the equipment class. Both sanitation and radiator inherit from equipment. Therefore, Overlaps in different classes can be excluded. The equipment objects, no matter to which class they belong, are all registered by this one definite value. Let's look at the links since they are passed from the base class to the derived classes as well. The room class is linked with the equipment class via a link with the name Area Has Equipment. In the structure view, click and expand Room, Room 2 to see the Areas Has Equipment underneath it. Due to inheritance, the Sanitation class also has this link. To see this, we need to update the newly created Sanitation 1 object. Right-click Room Data and select Check Create Consistency. Ensure that the dialog has the same selected option as shown here. Click OK twice. Go back to Room 2 and notice the Link Sanitation 1 object. The software has automatically recognized that Sanitation 1 is found within the polygon that belongs to Room 2. Let's do one final example. Move the Sanitation 1 with the attached label to another room, e.g. Room 3. Now go to Check Create Consistency in the Room Data. Click OK twice. Open Room 3 and notice that Sanitation 1 will now be automatically linked with Room 3. 
If you go back and open room 2, you will notice that Sanitation 1 is no longer underneath it. In this tutorial, you learned how to link equipment to rooms, ensure equipment has unique key values, move equipment from one room to another, check and update consistency of collected data.